I have never been inside a kayak. Therefore, I've never gone over one of those 40 or 50 foot waterfalls in a little boat that looks like it you could fall apart at any moment at the strain of all that water. I admire those who do those kinds of things, but I would never be caught doing that. It looks too deadly to me. I did read the story of Mark Ashton Smith, who is a lecturer at Cambridge University. One day he capsized in a kayak in very dangerous waters. He got out, he hung on to his kayak, and then reached for his cell phone. He must have had it in a pocket that kept it dry. Mark called his dad. Guess what his dad was doing at the time Mark called? Mark's dad was training British troops in Dubai, 3,500 miles away. What was his dad going to do to help his son? Well, without delay, Mark's dad relayed his son's message to the Coast Guard located near his son. And within 12 minutes, a helicopter retrieved the son from that deadly situation. Do you have someone you can call upon when your life is in danger? Everyone does, you know. Everyone has a powerful, everywhere present, all-knowing father they can call in times of dangerous peril. We can trust our Heavenly Father to come to our rescue when we need Him, when we need Him the most. The psalmist assures us with these words, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. That's found in Psalm 46, verse 1. Paul also assures us in the book of Hebrews, we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear. Hebrews 13, verse 6. Today we have a connection to our Father who loves and cares for us even more than our earthly parents ever did. He is the God of heaven, the creator of all that we see and hear and taste and smell and experience. Give him a call. He's waiting to hear from you. Lord, we give you a call right now. We just thank you for the privilege of prayer. I pray that you will bless us as we day by day learn how to use this powerful instrument for our good and for the good of others. In Jesus' name, amen.